Hola, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. My name is Elle and this is my perspective. Today, I would like to do a quick video to tell you about two apps that I use here in Merida, which are Rabbi and WhatsApp. Well, let's talk about WhatsApp first. WhatsApp is a um, service that I use to do text messaging, calls, which is voice calls, video calls. You can also create groups or be invited to groups and just have a chat that way. So I use um, WhatsApp every single day. I communicate with my people back in the United States that way. And then people who are here local, I also do that. I've also found there is a game that I play, that I used to play. Um, and in that game, they were all here in Mexico and different parts. It was only one other person who was here in Medida, but everyone used WhatsApp. And so it's just, it's just the thing that is used here in Mexico. So I would strongly suggest if you do not have WhatsApp, go ahead and download the app even while you are in the United States so that you can familiarize yourself with the app and the ins and outs of it. So that is WhatsApp. Um, and again, you'll have, um, whether you are dealing with your attorney, um, please have an attorney when you get here. Um, or shortly after getting here, like have attorney information. Uh, <laughs> your landlord, um, any and everyone that you come across has WhatsApp and that is how they communicate. That is how they do their business and so forth and so on. My attorney, for example, um, if I had questions and wanted to know the pricing on something, I do not have to reach out to my attorney but just going to her contact information or they're actually going to their contact information, I can click and see what the catalog is and it'll show me all of the prices of the services that they provide. So convenient and that's it. Okay, now let's move on to Rappi. Rappi is going to be like your Uber Eats, which I do not use any delivery services in the United States. I know, right? What kind of life was I living? So um <laughs> I had to familiarize myself with Rappi once I was here. Now, Rappi, while I downloaded it in the United States prior to me getting here, I could not use it because it needed a Mexican phone number. I did not get my Mexican phone number until after I was here. Um, I did not activate the app until I was actually in Merida because when I did it, it said that I was going to get 30 days of no delivery fees. And so why not use that service when I was at Hotel Kenya? Because there's only so many times I want to walk to those places in the neighborhood and eat those same foods over the span of a month. So I would have Rappi come and it allowed me to familiarize myself with how Rappi worked which was really good. And to see, again, how it worked, like the different prices, like you can have where you can go in and see that the delivery fee may be a really low amount, in my opinion. It may be like a dollar equivalent to like a, a US dollar, a little bit over. But then if you waited and it was like when you're hungry, lunchtime, when everyone else is hungry, then the delivery fee could be something, you know, double or over double of that initial price that you saw. This is just for the delivery fee. Um, another thing that I was coming across with Rappi is that let's say that I'm in the app, it's busy time and I'm not really aware of it. And I decide that I wanna change my mind and I don't want this, I wanna get something else, or I just tarry too long while trying to place my order. Then when I really want to go through with my order, it will give me a message to be like, ah, we are not taking orders right now because the restaurant is really busy. So try back later. That later can be a few minutes later or it can be a couple of hours later. So if you think you are hungry and you want to use Rappi, you better go and use it. Sometimes that delivery charge is just so high. You are like, you know what? I think there's some potato chips somewhere. So it's all on you. Um, Y'all know I like to count my pennies. So and that's what I use Rappi for. I will tell you this, when I place an order for food, 
then I will notice something that'll pop up and it'll be a timer. And it says something about like turbo or something like that. What it is allowing you to do, the timer is between 10 and 15 minutes. And so it's a countdown and it's basically telling you, you have X amount of minutes to see if you want us to pick up something else for you while we are getting this delivery done. Once the timer hits zero, you're going to have to pay an additional delivery fee for said item. So again, let's say that you have ordered some pizza, right? And so you've ordered pizza from this place and then you decide that you want some pop and maybe the flavor pop that you want, that pizza place doesn't have it. And so you can actually have the wrappy go pick up the flavor pop that you want, the price you want, the store that you selected, right? So they'll pick that up, they'll get your food and they'll come to your home when everything is ready and there you go. You're paying that one delivery um, charge. Now, if you wait for that timer to elapse and it's no longer there, you can still get that. The wrapping man will still get that for you. You're just gonna pay another delivery charge. So there's that. What else does Rappi do? Um, so Rappi will, yes, I'm looking at the app. So they do the restaurant, they do market, stores, liquor. It says Rappi Travel, Pharmacia, the pharmacy, Turbo, which is what I was just telling you about, Express, Pet, and then it says more services. When I click on more services, um, what is currently available for me is Rappi Favor. That is when... So it says we pick up, carry, and buy anything. So let's say that I am at my place and you are at your place and we are both here in Medida. And I am like, I just finished making me a pound cake, right? Because I have an oven and you don't. And y'all know I ain't got no oven. I have an oven and you don't. And this is a pound cake. And I'm really good at making a pound cake, right? And so you're like, ooh, I want to taste your pound cake because... <laughs> There's no desserts here that I have found to my liking. And I'm like, okay, let's do a wrappy favor. So because you want the cake and not me, I'm gonna let you go ahead and pay for it. But I'm just saying, you can still use wrappy. And so you use wrappy favor and you click on it and you essentially tell them to pick up said package from me and bring it to you. So there you go, wrappy favor. You ain't gotta leave your house, I ain't gotta leave mine. So that's that. Um, I said you don't have to leave your house, but you do. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, the other thing is ATM, right? I have not used this service. I will not use this service because the American brain and everything in me says do not use this service. But if for whatever reason you need to get you some cash, let's say that you remember where you need to have cash on you. And let's say that you are like, I know she said I have cash, but I got my card on me. So let's say that you have your card and they're like, we don't take card. Efectivo, solo efectivo. And so it's just like, but I don't have cash. And you don't want to leave because you don't want to be looking like, ah, I'm about to dip, you know? So what do you do? You call Rappi and you're like, hey, so my food is blah, 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 pesos. Can you go get that for me? And so, yeah, you do the Rappi favor will go get that for you. They'll go to the ATM, bring said amount and bring it to you. I know, crazy, right? I'm just like, did you slide a 20 in your pocket? I'm just playing. But yeah, so that is a real thought for me. So I don't do that. And I do make my normal trips to the ATM by myself. So sometimes I do sit here though, and I'm like, man, can y'all go get rent money for me? I don't want to get rent this fall. So <laughs> yeah, it is a thought, but I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So I don't, I cannot tell you how high up for the ATM amount that it goes. Let me see if it'll have it in here. Um, but it says cash in 30 minutes. Okay, so right what I see. Make sure I ain't showing nothing specific. So it looks like it'll go up to the 2,500 um, pesos for you. Um, and it does say that it looks like it's an additional 7%. And it looks like you should also be a Rappi Prime member. To be a Rappi Prime member, I want to say is 109 pesos a month. 
And so that's like maybe five-ishness dollars, depending on where the peso is, the exchange rate and so forth and so on. Um, that comes with other perks. So like you could also get, um, I'm not looking it up. I just want to make sure that this thing knows that I am not trying to do no rapid ATM. Um, but it does come with other things. I think you get uh, up to six free deliveries a month and and some other some other things that rappy um basic prime basic and prime something else they have two different levels that you can get through rappy or you can just do the free service which is what i was using um so it is completely up to you but those are two things two uh two different apps that are here in mexico and i think you would like them um uber eats is another um, delivery service here in Medida, but I don't use it. I have looked at it. They do have some offerings, food offerings in the Uber Eats app that the Rappi does not have. Um, the nacho place that I showed you in a previous video is in the Uber Eats app, but their prices from what I saw are higher than what I pay in person. So I did I did see that and notice that. However, for that same price, that same place, the delivery was lower than for me to take an Uber out there and to come back. So just keep those things in mind. I know some people are just like, ah, but the delivery fees, but how much would it cost you to actually order um, an Uber to get you from here to there to pick up the thing. And then, yeah, so just weigh all those things. But those are two apps that I wanted to bring to your attention. Um, I believe even without, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can look through the Rappi app until you actually put your Mexican phone number in there. But another reason to have a Mexican phone number, can you get away without having a Mexican phone number? You can, but why? Especially if you plan on living here. Like, y'all, just, just, just jump in, jump on in, just jump on in and be like, ah, let me get this Mexican phone number. So yeah, that's all I have to say on that. There's a whole lot of things that can be pros, cons, whatever you want to look at, but I don't have a problem with it. Like I'm not trying to like carry everything, like the things that I can go ahead and switch and transition. Let me go ahead and do it. So yeah, um, WhatsApp was one. I knew that that was a thing that people use here in Mexico. So why would I continue to try to stick to all of the American things. Like, let me see what y'all are doing and let me accustom and do it that way. So yeah, until then, if y'all have any questions, comments or anything, questions like talk about this or what about that, drop it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will chat with y'all later. Bye guys.